Today I'm taking a look at what is definitely not a dead mall. This is the Holyoke Mall at Ingleside in Holyoke, Massachusetts. This mall opened in 1979. At the time the anchor stores were G. Fox, J.C. Penney, Sears and Steigers. And currently it's the third largest mall in all of New England. This is the largest mall I've been to so far. Um, the closest mall in size to this, in this general area, I believe is the Connecticut Post Mall, which was enormous when I went there, and this actually was considerably bigger. It's also the busiest mall I've been to so far. At some points it was so busy that it felt claustrophobic and a little bit uncomfortable. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this, plus flea market videos and a whole bunch of other types of videos as well. Thanks. I have been to this mall before. Um, I've probably been here five times over a 30-year period, so I'm not really familiar with it, to be honest with you. I, I, I couldn't tell you where any of the original stores were or what's new and what's old. Uh, I did some research online and I did see that there was a major expansion in 1995 where they added an, an entire wing to the place, but it's not really clear what wing was added. So if anybody knows what stores were here back in the you know late 70s, 80s, 90s, you know, what's old, what's new, let me know in the comments. This is pretty much the center of the mall here. Um, this is the only place where you can see all three levels. So you see you have two levels up top that are retail stores. You've got this amazing skylight here. It's a beautiful blue sky. And then down on the first level is the food court. And really all that's down there is the food court, plus there is a Burlington Coat Factory and a tractor trailer training school. Amazing. And something else that I noticed, and I've said it in my other videos, there's something with the escalators at these malls. They're all broken. So at this mall, this escalator here is broken, as you can see. And then, uh, as we'll see later, there's another escalator that's broken. So I, I don't know why all these malls, even the ones that are not dead malls, have um, broken escalators. Now, this is a uh, pretty huge arcade. It's kind of like Dave & Buster's, I guess. It's called Round One. and. Um, I did a full walkthrough of this, but I put that at the end of the video because I figured there's some people here that didn't want to see the arcade walkthrough. So if you do want to see my walkthrough of the arcade, uh, hold on to the end of the video and I'll take you through it. So now let's just walk through the mall, enjoy the ambiance, and see if anything uh, jumps out as interesting. And as you can see here, the up escalator is broken. I believe this JC Penny here is the only original anchor store left at the mall. I thought this was neat. Over here on the right, I didn't get a great picture of it. Uh, it looks like there used to be a pond or a water fountain over here. It used to be full of water. It's empty now. And I don't know if that was part of a um, like a store or a restaurant or if it was just just there on its own. If anybody knows, uh, let me know in the comments.
It looks like this Dick's Sporting Goods store here just opened recently. It says now open, so I guess it just moved in, which is unusual because in a lot of the malls I've been to, the Dick's Sporting Goods and other stores are moving out, not moving in. So I guess you'd say that's a good sign. So because the escalator going up wasn't open, I had to uh, take the stairs up. And I decided to cut that part out because basically my camera was pointing right at the rear end of the person in front of me. And I don't know, that could be, uh, could be considered offensive to some people, so I cut that out. Over here on the right, this is the uh, third floor entrance to that round one arcade. And then over here on the left, this Billy Bees, this is basically like a kid's version of that round one, or it's kind of like a Chuck E. Cheese almost, it looks like. So I thought that was interesting that they have two arcades basically right next to each other. One for kids, one for adults.
Your military gun? And here are two more escalators that aren't working. Both the up and down are out of order. And I tell you, it makes it really difficult to get from one level to the other. I would think they would want to fix those pretty quickly because, again, it's going to make it difficult for people on this level to get down to the lower level to go to the store they want to. So I don't know. I think they would make that a priority. Luckily, there's an escalator in this Macy's, so I was able to um, get down to the second level that way. And if you want me to uh, do a walkthrough of like a Macy's or a Filene's, or if there even are Filene's anymore, you know, any department stores, let me know if that's something you'd like to see. I just know in general, they're not as uh, friendly to filming in stores as they are in malls, the outside part of the mall.
I could be wrong, but I think that Spirit Halloween store is in the old um, Lord and Taylor, I believe. So let's go down to the first floor, the food court. All that's down on this level is the food court, that Burlington Coat Factory. There's a tractor trailer training school, amazingly, straight ahead. Um, but when the mall first opened in 1979, there was actually an eight-screen uh, movie theater down here, which I'm guessing probably would have been in here where that tractor trailer training school is. That's my best guess. If anybody knows for sure, let me know. I think I took a look at pretty much everything on the inside of the mall, but don't leave quite yet. Next, as I usually do, I'm going to take a drive around the outside of the mall and see what that looks like. And then don't forget at the end, um, I do have a walkthrough of that arcade.
One thing I noticed about the layout of the Holyoke Mall is that it's very similar to the layout of the Meriden Mall in Connecticut. I don't know if they were done by the same architect or, or what, or it's just a coincidence, but I'll be taking a look at the Meriden Mall probably in a few weeks or so, and I think you'll see that these malls look very, very similar. And there's the outside of the mall. So as I promised, let's take a walkthrough of the Round 1 Arcade. So now the closest comparison I can make for this uh, arcade here is Dave & Buster's. But I would say this is way bigger than Dave & Buster's, at least bigger than the one I've been to in uh, Manchester. The arcade here is much, much larger than the one at Dave & Buster's. The only thing it's missing, honestly, are classic arcade games from like the 80s or 90s. This is all brand new stuff, so you're not going to see any Pac-Man or Donkey Kong or anything like that. But that's all. At least they have Ski Ball. That's pretty classic.
They definitely had a ton of claw machines, probably more than I've ever seen in one spot before. Not a huge fan of claw machines just because they kind of feel like a scam to me. It's very hard to win them, but if you're into claw machines, this is definitely the place to come. Here's something that Dave and Buster's definitely does not have. It's a bowling alley, full-size bowling alley. I would say, also besides Dave and Buster's, this place probably reminds me of the most of Fun Spot up in New Hampshire. The only difference is Fun Spot has almost exclusively classic arcade games from the 70s, 80s, 90s, whereas this is almost all like stuff from the 2000s and going forward. There you have it. That's my full walkthrough of the Holyoke Mall in Holyoke, Mass, including the Round 1 Arcade. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment if you'd like. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more mall videos. And, of course, flea market videos and a whole bunch of other types of videos as well. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.